Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank and today I'm going to check out how to record RAW files to the Odyssey recorder from the Panasonic Vericam LT. We're going to do this in 10-bit and in 12-bit. I'm going to show you all the settings necessary uh, to get these recordings out of the Vericam and into the Odyssey. We're going to start this process with a Vericam that is in its factory default settings. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tell the camera that I want to do a 12-bit uh, RAW 4K output. So to get that process started, I'm going to tap on the system button here and I'm going to go to my top center where it says SDI RAW because there is no RAW recording inside of the LT. We have to rely on an external recorder for this. So I'm simply going to push in and now I'm going to tell it uh, what resolution and what uh, bit rate I want. So we're going to go to the 4K 12 bit, which is arguably the easiest one to do, uh, simply because it turns off pretty much all the other variables uh, on the camera that could affect our recording. So I'm going to power cycle the camera. All right, so here we go. We have on our system menu now, we have 4K 12-bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a cutaway up to the Odyssey. I have two uh, outputs from the Vericam. I have uh, SDI 1 and 2 plugged in, and SDI 1 and 2 are going to SDI A and B, respectively, on the Odyssey. And as you can see, I have two SDIs feeding in. And up at the top here, I have confirmation that I have 2398 as my uh, project and 4K RAW 12-bit. And really great thing on the Odyssey is I can tap on that window. It opens up and it will confirm that in fact our project frame rate is 2398. This is, uh, like I said, it's very straightforward when we are doing uh, the 12-bit 4K output for RAW because uh, it's very straightforward. There's no variable frame uh, component to this. However, we're now going to go and uh, get into the 10-bit recording and you're going to see that the very uh, frame does start to play a factor with that. Before we go into the 10-bit, I just want to draw your attention to the little exclamation point on the left-hand side. Uh, that might have caught your attention at the beginning. Uh, what that is simply, it's there, uh, and it's there because uh, it's telling me that the sub-slot, the SD card, isn't being recorded. And the way that I know that is that I go into my information, I go to the diagnostic, and it's telling me sub-slot recorder disabled, just so you know. Okay, so now I want to go into my system again and I'm going to go into my SDI RAW recording. This time I'm going to change it from 4K 12 to 10-bit. And I'm going to have to uh, power cycle the camera again. Okay, so we've rebooted. We now have, let's confirm what we have going on here. We have in our raw recording, our SDI raw output, it's now 4K 10-bit. That's exactly what I wanted. What I want to show you is we're gonna take you up to the Odyssey and show you that for a moment because there's gonna be a, a little indicator up there that is a little confusing and I wanna just take you step by step through it so you understand what's happening with the camera. First thing I want to note on the Odyssey is that we went from 12-bit uh, to 10-bit. And notice that the uh, window up here says 5994P, and it says 4K raw 10-bit very frame. So first of all, it's a little confusing because we set up a 2398 project. So why do we have 5994P and this very frame? But it does say 4K raw 10 bits, so Odyssey is seeing what Vericam is sending out to it. The other thing to note is notice right here the status of my drives. Notice it says RAID right now. So what this means is that at this moment, what's happening is there are 
two SCIs feeding a signal into the Odyssey. And as a result of that, we are now uh, sending 5994 or 2398 over 5994 into the Odyssey over dual link. And as a result of that, what's happening is when, when Odyssey sees that, that information, it says, okay, well, I'm going to take this 10-bit 4K RAW and I'm going to rate it because it's a dual input. So I'm going to put uh, odd frames on one drive and I'm going to put even frames on another drive. The other part of this is because it says vary frame, there is the potential now to be able to do variable frame rate photography. And that's hence why we have these two connectors going in and the vary frame is now active. However, if you're just shooting sync 2398 and you're not going to do off speed, uh, it's uh, kind of wasteful and it's uh, you know more work to put your images onto those two drives because after all, after we finish recording to those two drives, we're going to have to take them out and then we're going to have to do uh, the program from Convergent Design that will uh, compile those odd and even frames together in one folder. So to avoid all that and to increase our, uh, our, our workflow in terms of speeding things up, I want to go into the camera and I want to effectively turn off uh, that 5994 input. So to do that, I'm going to go down to the uh, control on the Varicam and I'm going to show you where you need to navigate to turn this off. So we're going to address that 5994P uh, 4K 10-bit very frame setting on the Odyssey and uh, alleviate that because we now have those rated drives going. So to uh, take care of that, I need to do a couple of things in the very cam. Namely, I need to set it up with a proper signal output to the Odyssey. Before I go into that menu, I'm going to go into the system menu. And I want to take note that the main codec here is set to AVC Intra 4K 422. You must have the main codec set to this codec, irregardless of whether you're going to be recording to a P2 Express card or not. So the main codec recording is the recording that goes to the uh, P2 Express card. It has nothing or no relationship to the raw signal being sent out of the camera that's going to be recorded on the Odyssey, but we have to have it in this. We cannot have it in the light version and we cannot have it turned off. The reason why we have to have this set up is because I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go back into the menu and now I'm going to go to the output setting the SDI menu. And the first item in here is called raw output and notice it's set to dual right now. Dual is a default setting for the camera and that's why you were seeing the 5994 on the Odyssey. I am now going to change this from dual to single. And as soon as I do that, now effectively what it just did was it shut off the output of SDI number two. So now Odyssey is now seeing a signal from SDI 1 only. So we'll go back up to the Odyssey and we'll see what effect that had on our settings. So as you can see, I have uh, changed the output on the camera to single and now notice that Odyssey is giving me a notification on the lower left saying single link required and that's because it's looking at what's going on up here and it can't quite figure it out. So at this point it still thinks that there's two 5994s so it's saying, uh, change this please, so I can go about and do this correctly. So I'm going to take SDI-B out. And as soon as I do that, it's going to now re-register. Now notice what's happened. Uh, it's not blinking anymore, so the notification's over. Also, notice right here it says 2997 4K raw 10-bit very frame. And also notice here, my drives, it no longer says RAID. It now gives me the amount of time I can get on each of these drives. So when the first drive fills up, it'll jump over to the second drive. So now I have uh, the potential to shoot in one drive only 
and I'm doing my uh, 2398. But it's a little confusing because up here it says 2997. So why is that? Well, the reason is because the uh, Vericam is always outputting a 2997. So what's happening is it has embedded the 2398 in the 2997. Now, a good way to reassure yourself that you are in fact shooting a 2398 project is to tap in here and now you can see that my project rate is 2398. It is 2398 embedded. So I'm getting 2997 in on the SDIA, but the project is 2398. I wanted to do a couple of shots with the uh, setup and just verify what the uh, frame rate looks like when you take these files into post. So I shot one in 10-bit 4K RAW and I did one in 12-bit 4K RAW. As you recall, in the 10-bit scenario, we saw the very frame was lit up on the Odyssey and it said 2997. And that was because we had that uh, 2398 embedded in there. But when we opened up on the project tab of the Odyssey, we confirmed that the project was 2398. So I shot a couple of takes of Estella, as you can see here. And the first one we did was at the 10 bit. And so now I've brought that in here and I would just want to verify it. So here's, uh, here's my clip of Estella. The slate is verifying that it is indeed 10 bit take and you notice your 4k resolution and 23976 so we're all set there so I'll pop over here to the next one which was the uh, 12 bit and okay there's my slate and it's confirming the metadata in resolve is confirming 4k 23976 so what I'll do is I'm gonna take these takes I'm gonna do a grade on them I'll output them and uh, we can uh, take a look at what the result of a 10-bit and 12-bit raw capture from the Vericam LT looks like. That wraps up our look at recording RAW files from the Vericam LT. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.